What's up YouTube? When I first started this channel, I filmed some footage for this video, but I never really made it. So if you're like me, you may not have grown up on watches or wearing really anything on your wrist. It wasn't until 2017 when the company I was working for got acquired by a traditional watch company. You've definitely heard of it. This kind of snowballed into a greater interest for watches in general, specifically mechanical watches, which then led me down this crazy expensive rabbit hole of learning how to build a mechanical watch. And also within there, I got a couple more watches. I have daily beater digital watches, a watch that my friend made with a wooden piece PCB quartz movement. Tell Hard Designs, check them out. And even a Seiko Prospect that I bought in Japan. And because of the interest, it's also allowed me to check out really cool watches, which I probably can never afford, and even do the New York Horological Society watch program, where you tear down actually this exact movement and reassemble it, which is super cool because you learn a lot and you try not to lose all the pieces on the ground. So all in all, with tools, parts, and everything, this watch cost about $900 to make, which is not cheap by any means, but it is something that I feel is going to last me a very, very long time. And honestly, something that'd be cool to pass down. Imagine that you had two watches, like an Omega and this custom watch that you built. And you're trying to decide which grandkid to give it to. Well, the one that's gonna want the one that you made is the real one. The one that wants the Omega is probably just gonna wanna go and sell it. So you give both to the real one. And just as an aside, I'm not a watchmaker or an expert. I wouldn't even really call myself a hobbyist. I'm just sharing my experience with you. So for me, I got all my parts on Offre, Autofre, I'll put the link down below. They've been around for a while, you can tell by their site, but they have super awesome products. You'll also find a ton of guides for their movements on how to build the watch. You're going to need to buy your parts, but you're also going to need to buy some tools. At a very bare minimum, you're going to need a movement holder, some screwdrivers, some end snippers, clippers, snippers, and install and hand removal tools. You're going to need the movement of your choice. You're going to need a case which fits that movement. You'll need some straps, hands, and potentially a crown. And I got the 6497-1, which is just like a classic, simple pocket watch movement. There are different and better versions of that movement, but I elected for the cheaper one of all of them. And at a very high level, you're going to be prepping the parts, installing and trimming your stem, installing your dial, installing your hands, and installing it into the case. And one of the great things about using one of these common movements is that you can bring it to a watchmaker and they are gonna know exactly how to service clean and tune that watch. So what's next in my watch journey? Currently, this is how my watch sits with a dial and an open case back. Ideally, I would love to find a supplier to design my own dial. Actually, if anyone knows of a supplier out there who can do that for me, hit me up and eventually make my own case. But that costs money. So subscribe and maybe we'll get monetized someday. Either way, I hope you have a good day. I'll see you in the next video.